train robbery was produced by the studio of Thomas Alva Edison and directed by Edwin S. Porter. Porter was discovering the basic element of movie making, editing, the putting together of scenes to tell a story. Retribution creeps up on the villains in the woods of New Jersey. And the pattern is set for thousands of movie chases to follow. Nineteen five. The director again, Edwin S. Porter. His setting this time, the streets of New York. Audiences forgot they were sitting on hard seats in dingy Nickelodeons. They found themselves chasing with the pursuers or running with the pursuers. Edwin S. Porter's chases were ahead of their time. For the next five years, other one-reelers remained static and routine. But then, around 1910, the work of a new director made audiences sit up. A D.W. Griffith film started pretty much like any of the one and two reelers of the day. Grace, a railroad telegrapher. Her admirer, Jack the Expressman. and a payroll. 